Yeah, good morning. After I did my blurb this morning, I just, uh, within the last 10 or 15 minutes, opened an email with an interview that uh, has information beyond what I what I was uh, preparing to talk about this morning. Anyway, let's just give you the title and the blurb and we'll go there. Uh, govern U.S. government shutdown, Obamacare, ETs, and more. Okay. They really did shut down, and the mainstream media tells us it was about the GOP, Republicans, trying to stop Obamacare. There's nothing, or there is nothing in those reports, I think, about not having the money to continue to operate everything the way it was. To me, there is a lot of political grandstanding going on here, which is not unusual at all. Politicians do it all the time. As I've said before, I still feel, as I've said before, that there is a global chess game going on with cosmic implications. I even read a report that purported to be a speech by Obama that ETs are calling the shots or something like that. I wish they had provided a video of this, which would have made it more believable. Nevertheless, there are many things I feel that are not yet being reported. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had a crystal ball or uh, could uh, uh, do what Nostradamus did and, and uh, do some gazing into the into a pool of water. I forget what that's called in meta metaphysical sciences. Um, scrying, I guess it's called. And I did that. It came to me. Anyway, I do, I don't have such a thing. And the best I can do is go by my hunches and my feelings and the reports that I read. As I said at the beginning, uh, someone just sent me a. Cobra interview with Alexander Meadors for October 1st, which of course was yesterday, although it was recorded in Cobra's time on uh, on September 29th. Um, in any case, they uh, talked about the collateral accounts and gold bonds, and he made the astounding statement that the extraterrestrials have taken all the gold off the planet. Uh, including the Philippines and Indonesia, he specifically mentioned those, uh, which is why nothing has been released now, because the extraterrestrials do not want the cabal and the current government people that have been running things for horribly for so long, they do not want them to have access to something that is supposedly of real value. Uh, of course, Peter and I talked yesterday about what is really valuable. The value is really in the people, but in the mindset of the politicians and many people on the planet, gold is still gold, platinum, and things like that. Silver are are the actual valuable resources. They don't still don't acknowledge that it's the people that are the valuable resources, and what people are able to do. It's about action and, and doing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I didn't plan when I wrote the blurb to even go there with with that uh, as so far as uh, what Cobra is reporting. And I'm not saying he's wrong. I Honestly, I have no way of knowing what the ETs are or are not doing in, in all of this, although I absolutely am convinced that there are extraterrestrial or celestial influences that are happening on the planet. And I do believe that the report that Obama uh, knows that there is an extraterrestrial presence that's involved, I have no doubts about that. I'm sure he does, and I'm sure many others do as well. Insofar as the Obamacare political grandstanding, I was against Obamacare from the very beginning. It's a bad idea. It's more... It's more uh, adhesion contracts forcing the people to make a purchase of something, i.e. insurance, uh, whether they want to or not. 
adhesion contracts are always fraud, period. You cannot coerce or force or legislate a contract, people into a contract. That's against common law. That's against natural law. Anytime there is coercion, there is fraud. It's all fraud, null and void on its face. You Governments do not have the right to legislate any such thing as what we must do. That is always fraud and it's a crime against humanity. It's a crime against conscience. It's a crime against everything that's decent in the universe. You cannot make people do anything. This is a free will zone, period. It's not about creating a forced hive mentality or a forced collective consciousness. That is, to me, very evil and can only come from the dark side, not the light side. And ultimately, there is only the light side because light always trumps darkness. Darkness is only there for contrast purposes. But there's this big shutdown, and it is real. I mean, there, there, you know, I actually went on a couple of different website, government websites yesterday, and no information is available beyond the norm. They, they are not allowing you to search anything or uh, make any new transactions. And it's plainly, it plainly states on the U.S. government websites that the government is shut down, and until funding has been restored, they will not be operating. So there is, in fact, a reality to the fact that in the United States, certain agencies are not operating as they always have. I suspect that it's bit much bigger than being reported. Uh, I am not in favor of the GOP, the Republicans. I am not in favor of the Democrats. Uh, I am not talking about liberal or conservative or all of this, it, it, it's irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. They have always played two sides of the same coin and it's the same control factor. It's the same, same old game. As I said, there are, I believe, celestial and extraterrestrial influences happening here. I do believe it is the creator's desire to bring peace to, to our planet, to stop all of the, the nonsense that's been going on for decades and longer, <laughs> uh, centuries and even millennia. It's time for the people to awaken. Uh, I stopped listening somewhere just after they were talking about the trucker strike and Cobra was making the statement that uh, that is indicative of the awakening of the American people. Indeed, it may be the awakening of the American people. And if it is, I say it's about time. It's about time that we realize that our government is operating a racket, is, is, is involved in racketeering. It is a criminal cabal, a human slave trade. And it's not just the United States government because the Australian government, the Canadian government, and the South African government and the, the governments of many, if not most of the nations of the world are actually sub-corporations under the United States of America Corporation because the United States of America Corporation has the United States military behind it. And that's another question uh, that there were reports of uh, 300 and some thousand UN troops from Russia and China and perhaps other nations surrounding Washington, D.C. Uh, Cobra said he, uh, that that is, uh, uh, is disinformation. I don't know. I do believe that there are military things going on in the world that are actually for the people's benefit. I do believe that some parts, at least, of the military in the U.S., and in other places around the world have been given different marching orders and ultimately will be funded by the good guys. I, I've been assuming Mr. Sino, although Cobra's saying that, that nobody, but nobody 
uh, has access to the gold right now, which is why the collateral accounts or the world trusts have not been released to benefit the people. They do not want business as usual. When I say they, I mean the extraterrestrials. And I do believe, I do believe, whether that, whether that report of Obama saying that they're calling the shots is true or not, uh, I do believe that that is the reality that's going on behind the scenes. Can I prove it? Absolutely not. It is speculation on my part, and it can only be speculation because I don't have inside information into what's going on in the Pentagon and, and other, other places in the ivory towers. I only can go by what I see and what I feel about what I'm reading and seeing and observing. I go by resonance. Now, that may not seem like a logical way to go at all to a lot of people. I know that. And it's okay, because we're each where we are, and we're going to be where we are. We're going to, we're going to go by, by what we think and feel is the right thing. I do it all the time, and I think that most people do as well. It, certainly most people that think at all, and there's an awful lot of people that really I don't think think at all, although maybe I'm wrong. I, I'd like to be wrong on that one. I'd like to think that every human being on the planet uh, wants to know the truth because when we know the truth, it will set us free. And the truth is not what we've, what's we what been prepackaged and sold to us by our religions, by our certainly not by the mainstream media and the governments and the corporations. Again, corporations are a criminal operation most of the time. Now that's not, I'm not talking about little mom, pa uh, businesses that incorporate. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the big multinational trading companies and like uh, uh, the automobile industry and the pharmaceutical industry and the banking industry, especially all of these corporations and the government eight governments that are actually cop, uh, privately owned for-profit corporations deceiving the people, committing fraud against the people, pretending to be legitimate governments when they're not. These things are, it's an evil enterprise. Profit is an evil enterprise. It's all about giving certain people the perception that they have the right to tell others what to do. And nobody, I don't have the right, if, if I was president of the world, which I'll, I'll never be, but if, if I held a title such as that, it would not give me the authority to, to make people do anything. It would be about leadership. It would be about pointing people to where they are. You know, learn to listen to your own heart. Learn to trust your own gut. Learn to fellowship and have communion with with the higher part of yourself that is the creative essence of all life of all creation it is creation itself learn to be in communion with that with 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 it as it manifests naturally in nature because the universe is a natural thing it's a it's not something that is just supernatural and it's not something that is about control. There may, yes, there may be ETs. There may have been ETs all along that had a control agenda. But it's a dark agenda. And that's not the way, as I see God, that's not the way God is. God is love. And he wants all, can I say he? God is more than a he. God is a she. God is an it. God is all and in all. It's everything. And, and wants us to wake up. Wants us to remember who we are. That we are all children of the Creator. Each one of us as humans is ch as a child of, of God. A child of Goddess. A child of creation. Each one of us has within us all of the divine essence of creative forces we have the ability to know the truth. We have the ability to love. We have the ability to transform our lives and even to transform the world. But it is 
not simply an individual thing. It is a collective thing in many respects. We must learn to get out of the competition paradigm and into the cooperation paradigm. We must learn to trust that there is a higher power working in us and through us and for us. We must get to that conscious awareness so that the real value can be released. And again, it's not about gold. And there is a, a chess game going on between the East and the West. The, the East, the Mr. Sino claims to be M1, and as some reports have said that the Pope claims to be M1, or perhaps the, the dark Pope, I mean, the, the head of the Jesuits or something. And he is a Jesuit. The, the Pope that's in there now is a Jesuit. So I, I don't know. I don't know the answers to all of these global things of, with global implications. I don't believe that Obama is a good guy. I'm sorry for those of you that do. Uh, I do believe that ultimately many people that have been working on the dark side will come over to the light. I do believe that still, including some of the bankers, including some of the people that are powerful. And I do believe that the Catholic Church is trying to save face. Anyway, I, I see the time. I'm aware of how it is, and I do try to keep it uh, at a, in a certain time frame with all of my videos. And I, I thank you for listening as I, as I look at this. And I do want to leave you with the uh, admonition to, to keep heart, keep hopeful, keep in the mindset of being open to surprises because I think that there will be a lot of surprises unfolding in the days, weeks, and hopefully not too many months ahead that will actually indicate that there is a shift in governance, a shift in the financial system, that will ultimately bless the people of the world all over. And we will be able to start fixing some of the horrible problems that have been created by our old paradigm consciousness. Thank you for listening and <laughs> namaste.